Comprehensive Guide to Deviation Investigation in the Pharmaceutical Industry What is a deviation? A deviation is an unexpected departure from standard procedures that results in nonconforming materials or processes. Deviations can impact product quality, system integrity, and personal safety. Causes include human error, incorrect instructions, environmental factors, and equipment malfunctions. Common examples are adding incorrect raw materials or printing the wrong batch number on packaging. Managing deviations involves real-time recording and thorough investigation using root cause analysis. Why investigate deviations? Effective deviation investigations ensure compliance with FDA and other regulatory bodies. Poor investigations can lead to warning letters and penalties. Thorough investigations help prevent recurrence and reduce regulatory warnings. FDA issued numerous warnings for CGMP deviations between 2019 and 2023, highlighting the need for proper management. Effective deviation investigations enhance product quality and operational efficiency. What are the types of deviations? Planned deviations are intentional changes aimed at process improvement and are pre-approved. Unplanned deviations are unexpected and require immediate reporting and corrective actions. Examples include intentional process changes, planned, and equipment failures, unplanned. Both types require impact assessment to ensure no adverse effects on product quality. Proper management of deviations involves detailed logging and tracking. How to report deviations. All employees in a pharmaceutical facility are responsible for reporting deviations. Reporting should follow a consistent procedure using standardized forms. Reports should include a unique deviation number, priority, date identified, and a short description. Immediate corrective actions taken should be documented. Distinguish between events, not affecting quality, and deviations, affecting quality. Which tools to use for deviation investigation? Fishbone diagrams help identify root causes by categorizing potential factors. Spider diagrams are useful for brainstorming and mapping relationships. Pareto charts identify the most significant causes of problems. Histograms provide graphical data representation to spot patterns. Brainstorming sessions encourage collective input for identifying causes and solutions. How to conduct root cause analysis. Define the problem by documenting what happened, when, where, and who was involved. Create a process map to understand where the deviation occurred. Use fishbone diagrams and the five whys method to identify root causes. Evaluate potential solutions using a kappa matrix to prioritize actions. Implement the most effective solutions and document all changes. What should a deviation investigation report include? Include a deviation report number, incident description, and details of affected materials. Document the investigation process, findings, and any test data reviewed. Clearly state the root causes identified. List all corrective and preventative actions with assigned responsibilities. Ensure the report is approved by relevant parties and properly filed. How to manage CAPA, corrective and preventative actions. Describe the deviation and required corrections in detail. Establish clear timelines for implementing corrective actions. Assign specific responsibilities for CAPA implementation. Regularly review CAPA effectiveness to prevent recurrence. Implement a tracking system to monitor CAPA completion. Why conduct periodic review and trending of deviations? Conduct regular reviews of deviations to identify trends. Establish KPIs to measure deviation management success. Use trend analysis to drive continuous process improvement. Integrate learnings from investigations into training and procedures. Maintain detailed records of reviews and trend analyses. How to assess reported deviations. Quality Assurance assesses reported deviations and assigns a risk level. Preliminary Investigation assesses overall risk by examining deviation scope and trends. Review similar causes and potential quality impact. Assess impact on regulatory commitments and market actions. Determine if further investigation is needed based on risk assessment. What are the risk levels in deviation investigation? Minor deviations have no significant impact on product quality and require minor corrections. Major deviations pose significant risks to product quality, patient safety, or data integrity. 
critical deviations present immediate and severe risks requiring urgent action. Use a risk matrix to evaluate deviation severity and likelihood. Determine overall risk profile and appropriate response actions. How to use a quality risk matrix. The risk matrix visually expresses the impact and likelihood of deviations. Severity and probability are scored to create a risk profile. Low-risk deviations may not need detailed investigation. Medium to high-risk deviations require corrective actions to prevent product rejection or recall. Regularly update the risk matrix based on new data and trends. What is the five whys method? Ask why repeatedly to drill down to the root cause of a problem. Document each answer and continue until the fundamental cause is identified. Use this method in brainstorming sessions for comprehensive analysis. Combine with other tools like fishbone diagrams for deeper insights. Ensure all team members understand and participate in the process. How to analyze with a fishbone diagram. Identify the effect problem at the head of the fishbone diagram. Create branches for potential causes in categories like machine, method, and materials. Brainstorm possible causes and document them on the diagram. Analyze each branch to identify the most likely root causes. Use the findings to develop corrective and preventative actions. How to implement corrective actions. Develop a clear action plan based on root cause analysis. Prioritize actions based on impact and feasibility. Assign specific tasks to team members with clear deadlines. Monitor progress and make adjustments as needed. Document all actions taken and their outcomes. How to plan preventative actions. Identify potential future risks and develop strategies to mitigate them. Implement changes to processes and systems to prevent recurrence. Train employees on new procedures and best practices. Regularly review and update preventative action plans. Track the effectiveness of preventative measures over time. What is a deviation management flowchart? Create a visual flowchart outlining the deviation management process. Include steps for reporting, assessing, investigating, and resolving deviations. Use the flowchart as a decision tree for consistent handling of deviations. Ensure all employees are trained on using the flowchart. Update the flowchart as needed to reflect process improvements. How to use reporting systems. Implement electronic reporting systems for real-time deviation tracking. Ensure systems are user-friendly and accessible to all employees. Integrate reporting systems with other quality management tools. Regularly audit reporting systems to ensure accuracy and compliance. Use data from reporting systems for trend analysis and continuous improvement. Why? Is training and education important? Regularly train employees on deviation reporting and investigation procedures. Use case studies and real-world examples to enhance understanding. Provide ongoing education on new tools and techniques. Encourage a culture of continuous learning and improvement. Monitor training effectiveness through assessments and feedback. What are the regulatory references? Refer to FDA guidelines for CGMP compliance and deviation management. Consult ICHQ-10 for pharmaceutical quality system requirements. Use EU GMP guidelines as a reference for deviation handling in Europe. Stay updated on regulatory changes and updates. Implement best practices from industry standards and guidelines. How to manage documentation and record keeping. Maintain detailed records of all deviations and investigations. Ensure documentation is clear, accurate, and easily retrievable. Use electronic systems for secure and efficient record keeping. Regularly review and audit documentation for compliance. Keep records for the required retention period as per regulatory guidelines. How to establish cross-functional teams. Establish cross-functional teams for thorough deviation investigations. Include members from quality assurance, production, and other relevant departments. Encourage open communication and collaboration within teams. Assign clear roles and responsibilities to team members. Regularly review team performance and make improvements as needed. How to implement continuous monitoring and improvement. Implement continuous monitoring systems for early detection of deviations. Use real-time data to identify and address issues promptly. Regularly review monitoring results to identify trends and areas for improvement. Integrate monitoring systems with quality management tools. 
Use findings to drive continuous process improvement. How to ensure effective communication. Ensure clear communication of deviation management procedures to all employees. Use multiple channels, meetings, emails, training sessions for communication. Encourage employees to report deviations without fear of reprisal. Provide regular updates on deviation management performance. Use feedback from employees to improve communication and processes. How to evaluate solutions. Place identified solutions within a Kappa matrix for evaluation. Group solutions into categories like high benefit slash low difficulty and high benefit slash high difficulty. Prioritize solutions based on their potential impact and ease of implementation. Implement the most effective solutions promptly. Continuously evaluate the effectiveness of implemented solutions and make necessary adjustments. These practical steps, combined with thorough training and effective use of investigation tools, will ensure a robust deviation management process that aligns with regulatory requirements and promotes continuous improvement in the pharmaceutical industry. Thank you for watching this guide on managing deviations in the pharmaceutical industry. Understanding and effectively addressing deviations is crucial for maintaining high standards of product quality, ensuring regulatory compliance, and safeguarding patient safety. We hope this video clarified what deviations are, why they matter, and how you can implement tools like root cause analysis, risk assessment, and CAPA to create a proactive and compliant deviation management process. Remember, every deviation is an opportunity for improvement. Whether you're assessing planned or unplanned deviations, conducting thorough investigations, or documenting findings, each step contributes to a stronger, more resilient quality management system. Regular reporting, effective training, and continuous trend analysis are vital practices that keep your processes aligned with industry standards and reduce the risk of noncompliance. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others in the pharmaceutical field. Feel free to comment below with any questions or share your experiences with deviation management. Stay tuned for more insights and resources on maintaining excellence in pharmaceutical quality and compliance.